Peter. Hello, Javier. Well, it's nice. Nice. lovely to be in a Rolls Royce race with you. Peter Carter from uh, Rolls Royce, the head of uh, Global Communications. And we are in the newest and most fantastic Rolls Royce, at least in its kind. It's very different from uh, the, the traditional ones. Absolutely. But, uh, can you talk? Okay, you let's talk about a little bit about the design and all this, this because it's pretty unique. Javier, I think the um, the thing that you will notice at once is that the interior of this cabin is unlike most motor cars. It's 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 simple, first of all. So the um, the beauty of the inside of a Rolls Royce is that the technology is not immediately visible. It's very quietly popped away. Uh, there are very few buttons. The dials are very simple and clear. Uh, there's not a great deal of, of s stuff in the car that detracts the driver. Exactly. The, the, the bottom line here is that we're trying to create a wonderfully effortless, beautiful, top-end environment for our customers. So let's drive a little bit. Uh... Got a, you've got a little gear shift here, which uh, again, just pull it in and go down. It's only reverse, neutral and drive. There, um, there are no extra gears available there. The car does everything for you and it does it effortlessly. So Richard, tell us a little bit about the history about this car. Um, traditionally, Rolls Royce, we know the style, the design, very, sure. very important. I mean, you know a Rolls Royce like half a mile down the road when yes. it's coming. This one is completely different. How did they come up with, uh, with this idea for this? This car that we're in right now, Javier, is the most powerful Rolls Royce ever built, and it's the fastest Rolls Royce ever built. On top of that is a car which has an extraordinary design right here behind us. The, uh, you've seen it from the outside, the fabulous fast back coupe design of this car, which is um, a real game changer for Rolls Royce. I mean, what this does is it puts us in a league where this car is, is, it looks extremely powerful, and it is. It looks extremely agile, and it is. Uh, it's a Rolls Royce like no other Rolls Royce that has ever been built. Uh, it, um, it promises agility, speed, power, and it really delivers. It delivers it in a Rolls Royce package. It delivers it in this wonderful, luxurious environment in which we are. It doesn't make a great noise and fuss and bother. It remains effortless and calm and always under control at all times while delivering this enormous amount of power. And um, one thing that is, is pretty striking, it's as you were saying, like very different, like the, the fast line on the back. Um, and Rolls Royce doesn't really have competitors, but like there's other brands that in the luxury yeah. a segment that are coming up with new models. So was this an effort to go against those uh, kind of cars like the Bentley Continental, no, for example? Uh, no, uh, Javier, absolutely not. Um, we, we, we compete for the customer's dollar against the customer going out and buying a new helicopter or buying a yacht or uh, buying a piece of fine art or something like that. Uh, we sell cars only in that very rarefied uh, 200,000 euros, that's sort of $300,000 plus uh, category. There really are no other luxury manufacturers in that uh, segment for us to compete with. Um, there are many other manufacturers who make very fine motor cars, but a Rolls Royce is something very special and different. This is also an effort to attract like a younger um, I think that's absolutely clientele. true, for sure. Uh, the, the sort of age demographic of Rolls-Royce drivers has been coming down quite dramatically over the last few years since the introduction of Ghost. Uh, you find that the age demographic has come down by a good 10 years. And this car, the Wraith, will of course attract many younger self-drivers. The uh, young entrepreneurs who've made money early in their lives through their business activities and who are looking for the excitement of being in a Rolls-Royce who perhaps felt that the Phantom or the Ghost the big limousines were not really what they wanted at this stage of their lives and now here comes a car like Ghost which is a self-driver's car, extremely powerful, fun to drive uh, and, and all wrapped up in this magnificent Rolls Royce package. Everything that you touch and feel in this car has been handmade. So all the stitching, all the leather work, this incredible woodwork that you see in the car, it's all done by hand at our, um, at our factory, the home of Rolls Royce in the south of England. And there's a tremendous amount of substance in this car. And I think wealthy people today who are going out and spending a lot of money on a car are looking less for bling and much more for substance. They want to know that this car has fantastic materials. The leather in this car, for example, 
comes only from, well, there are only two farms in the world where we buy our leather from. One is in the foothills of the Alps in southern Bavaria, and then there is a ranch in Argentina where uh, bulls are bred specifically for leather, not for meat. And um, we only use leather that comes from bulls. Uh, the obvious reason for that is that cows uh, tend to get pregnant and they tend <laughs> yeah. to stretch and, uh, and then you see their stripes. Yeah, and, and that. the leather is perhaps of a little uh, of a slightly less um, a slightly lower grade. So we only use the leather of bulls coming from these two farms in the world. And it's that sort of attention to detail. It's that striving for perfection at Rolls Royce which really sets us apart. And then the craftsmanship. I mean, because these cars Absolutely. are truly made by hand, right? I yes, mean, the they factory. Are. Uh, I understand that the, the chassis of the body is made in, in Dingolfing in, in yes, Germany and then correct. they ship it to, that's correct. to the factory in uh, England where it's really made by hand. Everything that the customer sees, feels, touches, smells, hears in this car is handcrafted in our factory in southern England as I say. And if you come to that factory one day, and I hope you do, you'll, you'll have this experience of seeing people crawling over this car, uh, hand making it, hand finishing it. You will see people fettling wood, you'll see people handling leather, doing embroidery. Uh, these these um, uh, Rolls Royce logos and the headrests, family crests, very beautiful inlays of wood um, that you find in Rolls Royces. This is all done by hand by master craftsmen in, in West Sussex. Yeah. And then the engineering. I mean, the drive is like you're like flying. I mean, you don't feel <laughs> anything. It's I mean, it's a fantastic feel of of the power of the engine too. Yes. But also, I mean, like the, the smoothness of it. It's just like fantastic. I mean, well, uh, yeah, it's yeah. really yeah. enjoyable to and drive. And you're really feeling that here. I mean, yeah. we're, we're moving as if we're flying over the road. It's like a magic carpet ride in a way. We're moving in relative silence. You don't hear the twelve-cylinder engine. I can tell you in this particular car, if you kicked it down. Uh, we've allowed for the first time in a Rolls-Royce a little bit of uh, exhaust note to come into the cabin Because I think if you if you look at a car like this that looks so obviously powerful and yeah, agile it, it would seem odd if it was perfectly silent in here But when you're just cruising it is silent when you want to give it uh, a bit of gas You will find that there's a, a very comforting growl that comes from the engine, but nothing too loud um, yeah, you, you, yeah that as a driver you feel with all your senses and that's one of them like you want to hear a little bit just like to just a little bit yeah, yeah just to remind you that there's an enormous amount of power that you're commanding while you're driving this car excellent well thank you very much for uh, again very unique opportunity I'm really grateful that uh, that we are allowed to drive this beautiful car and we're gonna enjoy it a little bit more on the road outside here the, the hotel in uh, Arizona so thank you for the opportunity and um, congratulations, it's a beautiful car. Uh, thanks Javier, it's a real pleasure and thank you for coming. Thank you.